Oh, guys. Oh, it's starting to sink. The underwater box for a restaurant is officially floating. It, it's it's floating. But the box fort is officially in the water and it is time to set up this restaurant. Hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's Papa Jake and we are back with a brand new video. It is a new day in Box Fort City. We have been surviving. Oh, okay, Logan spraying us with water. We have been surviving out in Box Fort City for 29 days. Right? No, no, not 29. It feels like 29 days. But if you guys don't know, Stop spraying me with water. Box Fort City is the series where we are surviving outside in our very own city, completely made box forts. We've got my house over here. We've got Logan's house all the way over here. And we have uh, the general store, which is the first thing I wanted to mention. We've had a lot of rain and Box Fort City has taken a massive beating. I mean, it's almost completely disintegrated, Logan. Yeah, Jake's, Jake's fort is gone. The general store is gone. It doesn't look like a general store, Logan. Where's the entrance? Why I knock at the Hi, I'm here to buy my stuff. Oh no, what happened? Oh, it's, it's got, yeah, the general store com collapsed. There was like a hurricane. The only way to survive in Box Fort City is to tarp your entire fort. That's why my fort kind of looks like a circus. We are actually gonna be waterproofing our forts this time very well so that they do not break in the rain and we can continue Box Fort City because guys, every time one of these videos gets 50,000 likes, we survive another night out here in Box Fort City. What are we doing today, Jake? Well, Logan, as you know, our last video, uh, the Titanic did not go as planned. It was a great endeavor. It was the biggest box fort to ever set sail. It was not a good idea, Jake. It might have sunk a little bit. Just the little tiniest bit of sinkingness. We also lost all our money on that, Jake. We lose all of our money on that. Which brings us to today. Papa Jake has had a plan all along. You see, the Titanic was a great idea, but the problem is, Logan, it can sink. So I had the idea to build the very first, the very biggest box fort restaurant. But see, Logan, you might be thinking, well, Jake, if we build a restaurant, what if it sinks like the Titanic? I've already thought that through, Logan. I know that the restaurant could sink. So what if it's already sunken? Boom. Can't sink what's already sank, Logan. You want to build a restaurant underwater? That's right. The world's first underwater box fort restaurant. You'll that's, come in. That's a terrible You'll idea. You'll swim up to the counter. You'll order your food. Your food will come. It'll be like space. It'll be floating around. You'll go, hum, hum. No one likes to eat underwater. It's the the ha hashtag most genius idea of all time, guys. I know all of you in the comments say, Papa Jake, you are probably the smartest man in this generation. We pre-sync it, Logan. It's the best idea ever. Okay, but Jake, that doesn't make any sense. If we build a cardboard fort underwater, it'll break in two seconds. Logan, what did I tell you? I'm the smartest guy in history. I already thought this through. See, while you were sleeping today in your little uh, circus, I went out to the real city and I bought us a little surprise so that we could make a true, lasting, underwater box fort restaurant. And before I show it, I have some information to tell you, Logan. You see, I almost forgot. At the end of every video, we give a massive shout out to one of our amazing squad members. And if you guys want a shout out and to join the squad, it's super simple. There's three steps. You smack the subscribe button, smack the bell button, and comment hashtag squad. Did you say hashtag squad? I'm right back. I'm okay. But guys, make sure to go do that and we'll be picking an awesome viewer at the end of the video to give a shout out to. But without further ado, Logan, we need to build the world's biggest, awesomest underwater restaurant. And in a little while, we'll be eating escargot underwater with a nice side of cold ice cold water because it's all water. But come on, Logan, I want to show you what I bought. Oh, and Logan, before we go, I do want to say one thing. What I'm about to show you is extremely crazy and probably the most insane thing we have ever done, which is why. I need to remind everyone, under no circumstances, should you ever try this at home. Come on, Logan, check it out. I went into the real big city, and I got us something for our underwater restaurant. Jake, what did you do? I may have gone a little crazy with this one, Logan, but I thought if we're gonna have the world's biggest, the world's best underwater restaurant that we can chill in, we need something more legit than just cardboard. We need an actual building. What do you mean you got an actual building, this Jake? This box is not just a box, Logan. It might look like just a box of cardboard, but inside this is a building. There is an actual seven foot tall by seven feet long shed that we will be using as our underwater 
box for restaurant. This thing looks very expensive. How much did you spend on this thing? I spent all of your money on it. This thing also looks really big and heavy. It is extremely big. Check it out, I had to rent an entire truck just to deliver it. This truck is not my truck. All right, now we're gonna build an underwater box for restaurant, guys. This is the base of it. Actually, there's a, look, 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 pass. There's a little photo here. That's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna have windows, it's gonna have a roof, it's actually gonna have shingles on it and front doors that we can go in. Now all we need to do is get this massive thing into the backyard and Logan needs to build it. Jake, this thing is like 200 pounds. All right, well, I'm gonna go chill inside my house. Logan, why don't you get this thing in the backyard and build it? Nope. I didn't put it in the truck. It actually took six guys to get it in the truck. If I do my math wrong, there's two of us, so we're missing four people. I want all of you in the comments to push. Push with your comments. Oh, this is really heavy. All right, this is another one of Papa Jake's uh, adventures where I, I really didn't think ahead. I think it was a really cool idea when I saw it, and it looked really awesome in the store, but I didn't think of the logistics of getting this into the backyard. Oh, okay, all right, all right, here it goes. Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> so now, one really important thing to remember is under no circumstances should you ever try this at home. I mean, you can, you can buy a shed if your parents let you, but do not try to get it out of the car on your own. We're also about to do a very dangerous stunt. We came up with an idea, a solution, where I am going to drive the car forward Therefore, this should just plop out the back. Right, Logan? The math checks out, the science works. Let's get into the driver's seat of this spaceship. Captain Papa Jake is in the cockpit, Logan. Starting our engines here. I don't know what that's, that's, that's a scary. Okay, we're good. The hazard light has gone off, whatever that means, I don't know. Now, if I push this thing forward, it should just plop out the back, really simple. Yeah, it's working, Jake. Now it's just stuck here and on the car. Oh, I can't do it. We're gonna need to move the box for a city to the front lawn, I know. No, Jake, we're gonna have to move this to the backyard somehow. I think it might be easier to move the pool to the front yard somehow. Actually, no, your, your idea makes a lot more sense. Okay, let's start disassembling it, bringing it in the back and build in our underwater restaurant. So we've got all of the pieces for our underwater restaurant. Now all we need to do is put this entire thing together. It is gonna be absolutely massive. It is seven feet tall by seven feet wide. This is just the base of it, but it's gonna be like yay tall with an actual roof with doors that we can go in and then we gotta slide it into the pool. Like, this is gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a little difficult to build, but I think once it's all put together, it's gonna be the ultimate underwater house. So guys, let's start building. <laughs> Guys, check it out. Our box fort restaurant is looking pretty sweet. Dude, this thing is awesome. I mean, we're only like halfway done and there's still no roof, but look at how much room there is for activities. There's, there's all, all this room. It's actually really cool. This is like one of the biggest things we've ever built. And this thing is not only gonna be waterproof, but it's also gonna be sweet for underwater. All right, so my goal with this rebuild is to not only rebuild the fort so that it's looking really nice, but I also wanna make it extremely waterproof this time. So I'm actually gonna be using a new really cool feature that I think if activated whenever it starts raining, I should be able to activate it and make sure that my fort gets absolutely no water on it and it lasts pretty much forever. Okay guys, so we have officially finished the underwater box fort restaurant. Check this thing out, dude, it is Okay, wait, wait, before we even go in. This thing is absolutely massive. It takes up like half of this entire place. Look at this. It's a house, Logan. Dude, it's as tall as me. You could live in this thing. So this is gonna be the perfect base for our box for a restaurant. I actually don't even know, Logan. How is this thing gonna sink? Is it gonna sink? More is importantly, gonna... Jake, what's this restaurant called? Le Restaurant de Aquatique. Because it's underwater. Check out inside, guys. Now, there isn't really anything inside. We have to do all the interior work once we actually get in the pool. And we left the roof off here so that it's able to actually sink. Otherwise, it's just gonna be one massive bubble. It also lets a good amount of light in. Which is actually great because we wanna make this restaurant super sweet. And we got front doors, which are awesome. They close like this. So I can, wait, wait, like, like this. Imagine there being water in here. I swim up through the top roof. Maybe I come back down here, grab some nice food, and you know, chill at the uh, the dining area, which will be in here. We're not gonna put it in now because actually we're gonna have to try and get this in the water, which is probably gonna be the hardest challenge of this entire video. I mean, building this thing was hard enough, but now we gotta get it in the pool and the sink. 
and all while the fact that I did not expect this thing to be this big. This, this might go really wrong. Remember guys, under no circumstances, do not try this at home. Leave this to us. It's really heavy, Logan. I might need you all your help to get this. Ah, oh, it's so big. Push, push. I can't. It's not moving. I actually don't know how we're gonna get this in the I pool. Can flip it into the pool. I don't know. This thing is a tank. It's a head. It's a mini house. Can you push from this side. Oh, oh, oh Logan. Oh, it's going. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, it's starting to sink. The underwater box for a restaurant is officially floating. It's it's floating. Oh, it's starting to sink. Oh, dude. Jake, it's starting to sink. Oh. It's starting to sink, oh, guys. Dude, this is crazy. Oh. oh, no, we don't want to stick the wrong way, guys. We want to try and make sure that this thing sinks. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Jake, also maybe in the shower end, yeah, so it's uh, easy for it's people. Yeah, it's a little hard to maneuver here, Logan. It's a massive thing. <laughs> Check it out, our box fort in the water. I mean, I'm not gonna say this is the brightest idea. Of course, it's Jake's idea. But the box fort is officially in the water and it is time to set up this restaurant. Okay guys, we are inside the restaurant and it's actually pretty sweet. I mean, we're inside a building. In water and then if you come down. There's some leaks. We also had some pretty bad damage. When this restaurant went in the water, it just started to break. Like this door came off. The main problem was that it actually started tipping completely. Once it went in the water, it just tipped over and almost fell on its side into the deep end. We were able to get it straightened out. Other than that, it almost completely fell apart. But I mean, it's still, it's still workable. Uh, guys, we have a serious problem. Our box for restaurant is breaking. <laughs> So I'm standing inside the restaurant right now. It's completely falling apart, guys. This is not good. It's actually pretty sweet. I mean, it's cool the fact that we're in a restaurant and it's floating. I like going down. It's like a cool fort. Okay, there she goes. We're currently on the roof. We are on the roof and she's sinking just as I wanted it to. Um, take this restaurant. It's not gonna be very luxurious, Jake. So before we could even deck out this restaurant, we ran into a big problem. It, it completely sunk. It sunk, and then on its side, and then everything started breaking, but it did settle in a way that actually kind of works as a restaurant. It's a bit of an open concept, but if you guys come on down, I'll show you inside the restaurant. <laughs> So as you know right now, we've got uh, a little bit of a restaurant. It's kind of on its side. It's sunk in and half of it's broken off. But that's okay because, check this out, I just added our dining table and our chairs. Now that the restaurant's all set up, I guess it's time for us to go down. All right, let's go down and order our food. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, so that was a ton of fun doing our very first underwater box fort restaurant. I mean, it didn't really, you know, stay together or, or uh, at all, but it was still a lot of fun. I, I had a ton of fun trying to eat things underwater. It was super cool. And even though it didn't work as our next job, I'm actually excited because I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and be a police officer again. But one thing I was able to do, which is pretty sweet, is fully restructurize my fort. Dude, yeah, this check this thing good. out. I guess so, you got the umbrella for rainproof. Yeah, yeah, so this is actually part of my rainproofing system. So I have a window here, which is still the same window, but it has a flap here because one of the things I noticed in the last time is when it starts to rain really hard, all the water comes in the window. And then if you come inside, I still got some interior work to do, but I redid my sliding door system so you can open up the door, go into my bedroom. I even have on the other side, my shower, which I completely rebuilt. But one of the coolest things is you come up here through this little porthole, like so. And let's say there's supposed to be a storm and a bunch of rain. Well, crank this bad boy up or down and it raises my umbrella system, which means I don't have to worry about my fort breaking again in the rain. And guys, don't forget, every time we get 50,000 likes on these videos, we stay another night and keep expanding Box Fort City. So hopefully we'll be back again with an even better and even a bigger build in the next video. Also, Logan, before I forget, we need to give a massive shout out to someone in the, something called the uh, hashtag, SCORE! Guys, massive shout out to my boy, Liam Stewart. Thank you so very much for being an amazing member of the squad. If you see him down below in the comments, make sure to give him a big thumbs up, leave him a nice comment. And of course, if you wanna get a shout out and join the squad, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button as well as the bell button and leave a little tiny, tiny comment saying hashtag squad. But of course, guys, this has been Papa Jake and Logan, and we'll see you guys next time for another awesome video.